Madu tini kantor sulur kual, dua lagu madu kamu tu bukan tersawal, dua tini kantor lebih bi, orang pada ini kamu tu, batang arabi kamu tu nunggu buah, buli bi salam Allah kalau menunggu, dua kuni kena buat ini dalam untuk salam dalam nunggu buah, kalau nunggu kita lupa lah, enak, singgah di singgah tali kita hentai, turun mana binang kau dalam menisti dua binang kau itu raki, turun mana binang kau itu nabi kita bagi tiga enam ini bulan bagaimana di bawah ramai, esangan bunuh bunuh bagi bi tiri, misalnya tiga kawan untuk bunuh ni. Orang itu mungkin kita satu orang mana bina aku mungkin kita waktu mana bola sendo terlepas. Nada kata mana bina aku tu loko bawa kena lawan ini kereta mata. Nada kami sengat tak kuti untuk kena bina kerja ni. Nada tali dengan mana tu orang itu susu. Soal kita waktu ini mana bola. Nada segala mana sengat tali bina kerja. Kau kita bina kita waktu ini kena ini kena. Nada lawan ini studio bina aku. Nada segala mana sengat bina kerja kuat. Nada baru cuma kami apa kerja segala mana tadi sengat bina kerja. Waktu itu kita kena awal kita kalau bina aku mana awal itu kena ruah. Nada segala mana sengat tali bina kerja. Bukan lawan kita orang mungkin ada kanggu. Alia. Nada bina aku kita satu orang mana bina aku. Kita bagi tiru minyak bulat, tali minyak terang macam tu. Ini segala minyak sangat tali minyak yang dah. Bukan orang yang kau orang mungkin, serta mana orang membola, lalu semua orang yang ulu mu, bapa nama tamu, tamu di mana orang tahu ni bagus, ya wni, bagus semua di bawah. Ini segala minyak ni kuah. Atau mungkin bola malang, na boleh turang na boleh nak kumbu, na boleh turang minyak kuah, na boleh minyak gaga, na boleh turang minyak belut. Tapi maru bi tangga makin kukuh. Atau mungkin bola orang mana segala minyak sangat tali minyak yang dah. Na boleh minyak kukuh. Kemudian na boleh minyak minyak ni bagus semua di bawah. Kukuh. Na boleh turang minyak minyak sakti kuah. Di minyak bosku ni akaya. Lalu sila tulis bapa nama minyak. Orang yang menyesal itu, nampak orang itu kalau mahu tidak tanggap itu gitu, anda boleh sungguh lihat anda sendiri menyesal dengan kita ini. Orang yang boleh dengan tanggapan orang itu sungguh nunggu kalau orang itu sunan, tamu itu guna lalu kalau bos sunan mula bos nampak orang itu orang, nampak orang itu tamat tangga angkat orang, nampak orang itu sendiri menyesal tali dengan kita ini, nampak orang itu bos nampak orang buka angka, terapu kata orang kata orang nampak boleh berkelai, dia akan dibuat ikhwan boleh berkelai dengan mati itu orang, orang yang boleh orang, orang orang yang 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 orang orang Kasih nak bawa solat kanan. Dua sini buku lo. Kalau kita ngasih ni bawa kalau muni kita bimbul bawa kayaan dua. Turun kalau mereka bawa kotor ni muni bawa sena mati ni. Lawan bawa kandar bawa orang muni singgah bimbing bimbing dah. Alis tisu bang alat ni bimbing. Sini muti kita kita bimbul ya. Enak awi nak kungu. Turun kalau bimbul muni bimbing sering bimbul kotor taki. Kalau muni takal 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 kemana? Bimbul turun alat tamu nunggu kulo. Bimbul bimbul taki. Ini singgah bimbing singgah tali bimbing dah. Turun kalau bimbul kawan tu kita bawa kotor ni bimbul bimbing dah. Sini kulo lawan. Ikan bawa lisan tu orang orang kau ni lebih terlengi tim. Bos muni nak takin alam tisu kotor muni sorang tu ni bukan bola. Dena yang don dosa mah. Amen. 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 Karena abu sini kalau na Asia nak kena wasi dua, kira kawal tu ni kerja dua kerja sembuh. Dua malam ni mesti wasi lagi. Kepak sabu kana kaku lulu mesti bola bola dah. Sana bukan aku bola bola. Kesan dah buat kula sabu kana buat ikan sipi. Kepak dua sabu ni nata kau orang, tu nak kena lebih tinggi buat. Kepak dua sampai sekarang ini Henry. Enak kali kemudian ni sini lalat tamu. Sakang orang musi coba. Enak sini lebih sini katali lebih nak dendai. Bukan dua katali sini lebih sini lebih nak dikuap. Bikin tabah kita ni bukan dua. Bikin kemudian sini kepak orang bukan mai sini. Kesan mai nawa bina kongo. Esai bi tisane. Si buru bola tu bikin orang mikina. Alun nawa bina kongo. Tak ada tiap bakawa kau mati tu ni sini lebih sini lebih nak dendai. Senang kan mana kan esen senang. Walau mengaku orang itu mungkin na, lama kerana mesti tis. Kau tumbal itu mungkin mesti salam. Ah, ni awak nak kongko orang itu mungkin tali bunik tu turun mungkin aku. Kita awak tidak mungkin bola tali bunik turun mesti susu. Ini segala mesti segala bina kata, segala bina kata kuat. Saya tali bunik zaman kita awak tiga orang tamat tengah kanik kelu. Ini seluruh bunik tiga bikin dan segala mesti segala bina kata dahim. Abel itu agen songkos songkos itu mungkin aku ni mesti Christian fellowship, soul to Jesus ministry. Kita awak tiga orang bunik tamat tengah kanik kelu. Kasilewu, ini mata ini segala mesti segala bina dahim. Kita awak tiga orang bunik sendo telada tali bunik turun mesti susu. Ini segala Kami sangat bina kami kuat. Kita dapat dari tengah nama tu walau kami lihat lagi, memang global directa, ada tumbuhan yang mana, ada kumpulan yang mesti sangat bina. Dalam mana, mana waktu orang mungkin sangat bina sangat bina kita. Kita dapat dari mana bina, kita dapat dari tumbuhan. Tali mana turang macam itu, anda sangat bina sangat tali bina kami kuat. Waktu tali mana bina kongo, alul ya kaku ni lagi bina mana bina kongo, lagu sibit itu kau kanggu. Tadi mesti sangat tali darah kau, kau tak mana bina kau tak bina. Kau sah, kau itu mesti sangat bina kita. Alul ya kau, kau kira nak pergi ke ni, bawa kita lawan kita tamat tak, sekolah dong kan. Alat tali mana turang macam itu, mana bosa, anda mesti sangat tali bina. Terangan orang bosan, alul yang boleh tak kawan dengan orang bosan ni keluar, maju bawa bawa, lupa bawa. Seni bola tak mati, mana itu dong? Bola kena, anak bosan, lagu main musim itu orang, anak mati ni siapa tali bina kena dah, anak awak bina kongo. Nak kongo, kak kawan kami kau orang mai siapa tak? Alul mesti bola tali dengan tuan kami orang mai, anak single ini siapa tali bina kena dah. Saya sering turun bola bermain bina kongo, ni kita bawa tu enam bulan ni, tempat ni kelu, tala talang kasih TV terkamu, lagu tu main nak koro, nai malam bau, nak kelo telebu, baka bawa TV, toka serkamu, bawa TV ni soli soli. Tak ada kerja bagai full time dalam ini songkong songkong itu bina kongo ni mesti Christian fellowship. Biar kerja bincang nak tambah tak ada kau nak kelo. Enam orang bina kongo. Kita bagai bantu tengah nanti. Boleh tarik tangan kasih. Enam singgah bina singgah bina ini kongo. Bag
Mm-hmm. 
na non risul na la la luve ngu bo ne singa bina ni ko sanga o manda nga urega o sanga manda nga ni ro ni bu le boila ene singa bina ni ko mete ke bu sarama ina kamena lili na uli na ngone lewa ya no ni baba na zo ro na kote na neke tai na kato zok ene singa bina ni ko ka bo ke o ngi bo ka bina bina ka pa na kalo ene singa bina ni ko ka tsuko na bimbi ni no munding ni ene singa bina ni ko na ka ke ve na ke no mata ka me rusa la ko me me rusa ma interview sa la ko to ni ndona fo bay fo ndona rental ko to to ni na ngone le ngo me le ku me ko tiro me ri ri bikira una bu na ba ka ke na na interview ndona ka na nungu ro ko ba na kalu ndona ka na nungu ndona ka na kalu o re le su na na ding ding kiro ding ding kina kiro sa mi sara watungo na na ke na na ke na vinaka na ndo ma ndanga na ka na ke na maru na ni to mata bu bali na ngone le wa sa <hesitation> bita mona buli sauti mona nofom seven don don mela koi ostelelia meli boko tsona no buli ngeka kwa oyo mu safuki kem ro tu mu mu ful tem tu mana nafaka kani kalu mbata na buli kei lak ngama ongei boka bini bina tanga na kalu <hesitation> nisi bina ni kwa sa mba kitu na ndare dana mbulongo na mba kina kena vaya ngata kina tabako oba te kina ngwa na kena mati yoro na ngwani ngoro wule level tu oba bini bina tanga na sungu sungu lutu go ni randa oba ya ngata kina ngwani mer mi vaya ngata kina lomoni sungu sungu lutu singa tambu sa no multu biki to so na sina sibi singa tambo so na singa tambo miki to na sana ni boka tamba ba ta miki to bo singa biki to ndui tutu e na bugu ni fe ngarabi ngai boka bini bini ngataka na kalu no no na bi marroi sembere boka ndoni rumo teni sembere boka ndoni rumo rumo na bali ndani sina bi kara marro taka na ndeni ni buru buru ngo na zoro bono ngone leo no rumo ngone ngo las las tungai i bali los las tungai na loma ni lot so na ngona rando rando bo so i ramina kor Meru kumi na ngoni meru mi meru mi meru mi ngande mi na koro ni ke tundu lo be na koro so na ngona ke tusi tunga ni ta kan tora songo na lo mi ni tuma ta wali se lo mi ni ma ta ngali ke tundu ndu ba ngari rutu rutu sali ta rutu sa tu ta libali ini ri tundu tu lo lo mi ni lo tu na bu no ke tu be ngara bi kina ro ni ro tu tu ro ni ndo na mbongi ro na mbongi no no ro tu tu no no ro tu ta li ta na be ka ngona mbi mbi ni ding ding ni ngona ta ma ni ngoni ba ro ngo wali mbe ka na wo si ngombe ka ma na lube mo ni singa bi na ni ko ndo mbe ka na mara matina Kanye tsuka na wani me mata mbale tana bunu e lasa laski na lube mwene singa wena ni kwa dingi taka manda na wani turang otsika risto dingi taka manda na wosini kalu iko na ngai sara wamu indur ni kwa me tuku ni alumbula osa kai wotsi wala ni kasi rani to mata wubali ene singa wena ni kwa ngai poka bini bina watanga na kalu ndona ndingi 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 kero ndingi ndingi kino poka biwiti ene singa wena ni kwa kero sanga ningi rigre taka tal ene singa wena ni singa ninda ndeni kero sa me full time ene singa wena ni kwa na kaka na raka na to oirna oirna taka taka kito kana to tala na kito ene singa wena ni kwa na kai wa ro tanga na kalu ene singa bina ni kwa so na kai ra sanga ni kanyo ira zaka zaka kito kanyo chiko kito balga lawa en dona ding ding kero ding ding kero mi kero mi muria na na ngone tura ngot chiko risto kero sanga mi sarawa baka ding ding taka chiko ni singa bina ni kwa sa chiko na bale chiko na bai kato do bina singa bina ni singa ni ne balga lawa dua ngana ding ding na bai kake roa sanga ni rawa tamai na ngona kero zaka zaka tukina kero sanga mi rawa kero nga mi sarawa kero nga mi rida na kato men dola bana kalu na ngona kero sanga mi ding taka na mi kero mi Sama rono ndolu rosa ngabul katolu ngome baru lama tayi nina rondo rosa kola tadi ngu ngane ngu dingi dingi ndon ngu balikana dingi dingi ndon ngu balikana dingi dingi ngore iko nangere rida na buana ena singa bina ngani kwa <hesitation> uko wimbo lita liki no bikian tayi na singa bina ngani singa ditai keba tayi ngu sembere dingi dingi ngu bakila chung bakana tabu tono tawo lomo nuno mata buai dingi tanga manda nungu ni turang ngotsuka disto ni baru utanga na babila tayi na singa bina ngani kwa dingi tanga manda na bosi ni kalu iko nangere sarap ona ngere bakana dingi dingi tak na bina ngani mbulo ngu Ni veli uta ki kina nangoni tura ngotsu karisto ena singa bina ngani singa kaba ngona bosi ni kalo mo mo itini kina singa bina ngani ko za buti lo malangi buru buru ndi ndi mikila sa to ndi muta mundo nam bula kina mat kina mat na viva kalo ngata ena vizu ndu vina singa bina ngani ko yuta ringu ndi ndi ngi mat ndi ngi tanga mandala mbula wi mbula kina wi ko kina nung mata wale ena singa bina ngani ko wale shiwa na kalo na dede na roko bina ndokai me nono sa tsuka na singa le bina ngani singa ndi ndi kana tsara ma roso wuka dio tini kondo ni se kelo kono nomo ni olo ngumbula tika mundo nomo mundo bina ngani singa ndi 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 so le bika mundo nomo ni bina ngani bia ngona moe muri kaba ngola tui te vita kaba ngoi tsawa ngoi tura ngani ngoi bina ngani bundo ndanga bia kimi ni na yo kango tui nala tsuka ni ko tara tara ngasi na kaba ngoi singa bina ngani ndi 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 ndi
na ika ono ni singa bulong December. Those of you that are live uh, right now, I take this time to welcome you. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Business House Bible Study 1 to 2. Normally it happens uh, Tuesday, today Wednesday, and tomorrow. So I take this time once again to greet you, those of you that are live on uh, Souls to Jesus page right now. Bula binaka to you all. In the merciless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you that watch on uh, my television and the replay, uh, we take this time to uh, to say Bula binaka to you all in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's an honor, it's a privilege. Once again, I thought today that Taltal Gasosea uh, will be uh, um, serving you from this platform. But uh, there's a price giving ceremony that he has to attend. And uh, that's why I have to, uh, to be here again. And uh, I thank the Lord every time I stand up to share the word. It's a, it's a bonus to me. And that's the reason I left my job uh, 2005. Ooh, 2005. Now it's 2023. Oh, it's about 18 years ago. Hmm? 18 years ago. When I'm not used, uh, I feel that uh, I'm not uh, doing the call of God because that's the reason I left my job to come and uh, share the word of God because uh, the promise what I heard uh, the Holy Spirit said I will open the office I will open town and cities villages classrooms uh, rugby clubs uh, rugby players and uh, go and share the word of the Lord so I'm not sharing the word of God because uh, I want to but there's a there's a calling in my life and uh, even if I'm not prepared even if uh, to be honest even most of the time I will just read the Bible and pray I'm not uh, preparing uh, what shall I preach no what shall I it's very uh, it's very rare I just pray I go to the seawall and sit there and just want to be in the presence of God. Because I believe whatever I share from here, then God will bless you with because he knows what you're going through. So today when I arrive here, I ask Taltal Mako, who is our, our technical person for all the lesson that is up on the screen. And uh, he's the one that's looking after our souls to Jesus and uh, New Melody Spades uh, locally here in Fiji. And I asked him, uh, what is the lesson? And he said, uh, oh, last week they finished. Hallelujah. But uh, uh, today I'm waiting for the new lesson. And I said, please, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So today I will talk on the most important person. When you talk about God, you're talking about church service, you're talking about uh, um, fellowship, you talk about prayer. Whenever you talk about anything of God, Holy Spirit is the most important person. And I believe the New Methodist Christian Fellowship, the reason why we acknowledge the Holy Spirit most of the time, every time, the beginning of our service and the end of the service, because when we look back, it's nothing of us, nothing of Gassin Levu, nothing of senior pastors, nobody. It's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit is God himself, yeah. or the working power of God and can only be described as the third person in the Trinity. Trinity is it's not written in the Bible. Trinity is, the Bible scholars, they said that God is one, yeah? which is only one God. Exodus 20, yeah? only one God. But he manifests or he show himself to us in three ways. Or uh, uh, three ways he, he manifests to us. One is God the Father, and then God the Son, the person in Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit, who is his time right now. Yeah? So the Holy Spirit is God himself, or the working power of God, and can only be described as the third person in the Trinity. One God in three, yeah? or three in one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit equal power because they are one God 
It's just like looking at me. When you look at me, you just see one person. But there's three person here. One is Atu spirit. And one is Atu mental. That you cannot see. Those two you cannot see. And my body, Atu, the body. Yeah. So something like that. But nobody can explain it better. Just wait until that day. Then you'll understand. The three in one, God himself. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was present as mentioned throughout the scripture. So today we will talk about the introduction to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not only here in Acts chapter 2. Remember the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Arrival to the church. Remember, Holy Spirit arrived to the church. The church were told to wait in the upper room. Then the Holy Spirit arrived to the church. And that is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Unless you are a special person like David, like Joshua, like Moses, like Abraham. The, those are people different. They are handpicked by God. God handpicked them. But when we talk about the church, this is where the Holy Spirit come. When they were all together in one accord, in one place. Then the Holy Spirit came. Then that is part of the lesson. It's a long lesson and I believe it will take uh, Wednesdays like this. Uh, about uh, six or seven Wednesdays that I'll be on. And if, if I'm not in, then Taltanga Serasia will come in. Uh, we are engaged for Wednesdays. And me and Taltanga Serasia, um, MOC, we are engaged on Tuesday. And uh, all the other pastors, they are engaged on Thursday 1 to 2. And their topic, they will talk specially the evil in cover. So if you have uh, nothing to do on Wednesday, one to two, starting from tomorrow, tune in to Souls to Jesus, one to two. You will listen to senior pastors of New Methodist Christian Fellowship to speak on the, the topic evil in cover. So the Bible says in Genesis chapter one, verse two. Eh? Verse one, something will be like this. Uh, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. In verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Holy the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So the Holy Spirit is not only arriving in Acts chapter 2. From the beginning, He was. So my friend, don't take it lightly. The Holy Spirit is always there. And as I'm standing here this morning, I went down to about 8 o'clock, I left home, I went to the sea wall, just sit around there because uh, I was invited to speak into uh, the Form 7, Year 13 at Maris Brother High School. And I was asking the Lord what to share to the young people of Fiji, the last year of their secondary school, and they will embark into tertiary, whether university or other organization as a cadet, or maybe into the workforce. And I was really blessed to be there and speaking to them. And I love, I love to speak to our young people, whether rugby people or maybe people play volleyball or the people that they just stay around at home, the youth uh, in the village. I love to speak to young people. Why? The opportunity to share to them the goodness of the Holy Spirit or the goodness of God. Hallelujah. You know, most of the time that we hand over to our young people, and uh, they are not equipped enough to face their tomorrow. Because most of the things that we'll face tomorrow, we don't know. The only person that knows our tomorrow is God. That's why the Holy Spirit is very important into our life, especially as a believer. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, the Bible says eh, that the Spirit of God knows the deep things of God. The Spirit of the Lord knows the deep things or the secret things of God and he will bring to us and to show us the deep and, and the secret things of God or even the things yet to come so we need the Holy Spirit wherever you are you need the Holy Spirit my friend are you going through the situation of your life maybe you're going through a financial situation huh? you are sitting on a financial deed my friend, don't off that Facebook. 
Make sure you grab this opportunity and listen. Because we need the Holy Spirit. I tell you, the third in the Trinity, He is the working power of God. Jesus said, it's good for you, for me to go. Make sure, my friend, you share it to your friend. Share this message. We need the Holy Spirit. The church, we need the Holy Spirit, my friend. The most wanted person that is required for us to tackle the problem in the world today, we need the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, it is good for you, for me to go. Or some translation, it says, it is your benefit for me to go. Because when I go, I will send the Holy Spirit. Oh, my friend, hallelujah. We need the Holy Spirit. Even in the village, we need the Holy Spirit. In our workplace, we need the Holy Spirit. Even if you, we are a fisherman, we need the Holy Spirit. Even if you live in America, in Australia, or you live in New Zealand, we need the Holy Spirit. Maybe you are just a normal taltala or just a preacher. We need the Holy Spirit. Oh, the Spirit of God is really needed today. The Bible says the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And in Fijian, and if you have a question, you can ask me, I have a question, 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 Oh, glory to Jesus, my friend. Regardless of your emptiness, like the, the beginning, the picture of the beginning, the emptiness, the darkness, the loneliness, but the Spirit of God was appearing. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus this wonderful afternoon. So it is our duty, my friend. Hallelujah. When we wait on the Holy Spirit, this is what the Holy Spirit can do. First Samuel chapter 19, verse 20. Then Saul sent messenger to take David. And when they saw the group of prophets prophesying, and Samuel standing as, lead, as leader over them, the Spirit of God came upon messengers of Saul, and they also prophesied. When the Holy Spirit is upon you, I tell you, my friend, you will say things that yet to come. Hallelujah. Because of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes you very confident to speak for your tomorrow, to speak for tomorrow, to warn the people tomorrow because of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And if you are church goer, remember you need the Holy Spirit. You have to set the condition for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is there for you. Holy Spirit is there for me. Oh, I need the Holy Spirit every time of my life. And that's why for, for us in New Methodist Christian Fellowship, every church service, we will lift our hand in the beginning and we will say, Holy Spirit, we welcome you in Jesus' name. After the church service, whether from home, whether combined, whether worship center, or whether just a family get together, when we finish, we lift our hand and we say, Holy Spirit, we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord, to God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. So my friend that you are watching this afternoon, hallelujah. Maybe you are going through hard times of your life, challenges of your life. And when they saw the group of prophets prophesying and Samuel standing as leader over them, the Spirit of God came upon the messengers of Saul and they also prophesied. Hallelujah. Let us acknowledge the Holy Spirit. So let us lift up our right hand and welcome the Holy Spirit. Two, three. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to Jesus. I tell you, my friend, are you lonely right now? Maybe somebody you are watching today and you are lonely. You are very sad. You are going through something in this life that you are very sad. You don't know where to turn to. My friend, I'm asking you in the mighty name of Jesus, open up to the Holy Spirit. 
Make sure you speak to the Holy Spirit like you're speaking to your neighbor. Like you're speaking to your friend. He's there. Holy Spirit is standing here with me. And He's teaching me. He's guiding me. He's letting me speak what I have to speak to you. Because He's concerned about your life. The Holy Spirit. Oh, glory to Jesus about the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Tell, tell us we need the Holy Spirit. Young men, we need the Holy Spirit. All the mothers, all the wives that you are out there, we need the Holy Spirit. All the bosses, all the managers, all the directors, all the ministers, all the Taltalas, all the Ratus, all the Blues, all the Andes, we need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So when the Holy Spirit will come up upon us, remember, He is the one that will give us the guidance, the strength, because He knows our tomorrow. And if He knows our tomorrow, He knows exactly how to take us to our tomorrow. Hallelujah. He knows exactly what to do. In John chapter 1, 32, 33, 34. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him, Jesus. He did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Jesus already spoke to John. Hallelujah. That you will see the Spirit or the Holy Spirit comes from heaven. And He will come and sit. Hallelujah. On the person that He can baptize us in the Holy Spirit. Do you know that Jesus... Only Jesus can baptize us with the Holy Spirit. He is the only one that has the authority to baptize us with the Holy Spirit. So that's why when you believe in Jesus, hallelujah, you have the authority to call the people to wait on the baptism. But the baptism only belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the one that will send the Holy Spirit to the people in the altar. We can baptize with water. Hallelujah. We can take the person into the stream or into the rivers or into the lake or into the sea. We can do that. But the Holy Spirit baptism is only done through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, And John bore witness saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven. Eh? There's a dove here. From heaven, like a dove. And he remained upon him. He came in on him all the time. Never depart. I did not know him. John said, I did not know the Holy Spirit. But he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you will see the Spirit descending. Jesus said to John, John, you must do this. You remember the story? When Jesus came to John and said, You will baptize me. And John said, How come? I supposed to come to you. Now you are coming to me. And Jesus said, You have to do this. And Jesus said, The Holy Spirit will come. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will come. And He will settle on the person that He can baptize with the Holy Spirit. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water. But he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending. Hallelujah. And remaining in him, this is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. Who is Jesus himself. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Hallelujah. 
Oh, my friend that you are watching today, you are going through a lot of challenges in this life. The answer to your problem is the Holy Spirit now. Just because you believe in Jesus Christ. Remember, the Holy Spirit can only work in you if you believe in Jesus Christ. I'll say that again. Eh? The qualification for us to receive the Holy Spirit and for the Holy Spirit to work in our life or for us to work through the power of the Holy Spirit, the only qualification is to believe in Jesus. That he is the son of God, the son of man. You need to believe that. Hallelujah. And that's why it's very important, brothers, sisters, that we need to believe that Jesus is speaking to John. And John is sharing with us. Hallelujah. We'll try to read the Fijian version of John chapter 1. Eh? 32. 33 and 34. Asa tukuna kuchoni kakaya ya kawa senga ni kila This is the first time John saw the Holy Spirit. Ya koko ya satala yao mai mo pipa pitesu taki ena wai sakala ngavi yao o kwa kona reitha ni sala kusombu kina na yalo tambu asa maitoka mwa sa ikoya ongo sa vipa pitesitaki ena yalo tambu ya kawa reitha katukuna ni sa ikoya ongo na lube nikalo hallelujah what else we need nothing we just need the holy spirit to operate there are so many commotion and there are so many bad things and omens. There are so many news of things that are not right that is happening in the world today. My friend, I want to recommend for us to go deeper into our relationship with Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will assist you, my friend. I tell you, the Holy Spirit will help you will come and guide you because he's a helper. He will guide you because he's our guide. He will guide you into all truth. So if you are listening today, I'm just sharing few of the Bible verse to introduce the Holy Spirit to us. Hallelujah. So when Jesus was about to, to face the crucifixion, for people to arrest him and people turn their back on him the whole world turn in their backs on Jesus Christ hallelujah and he said it is for your advantage for me to go Hallelujah. So every person that you are tuning in today from your business house, office, maybe some of you that are tuning individually, some of you are sitting together having your lunch and you are tuning in to Souls to Jesus page right now. And some of you that will watch later on television. Normally we replay this program, the Tuesday business house, the Wednesday business house, and the Thursday business house. We also replay on my television. So if you watch on social media or if you watch on television, my friend, God is allowing that to happen in your life. That we need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. Ooh, during the time of evangelism, oh, I need the Holy Spirit. I will cry out to the Lord, send your Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit to be with me, to guide me and to lead me. I need the Holy Spirit because He knows the people in front of me. He knows the village that we will go and evangelize. He knows all the leaders in the village. He knows all the heart. Oh, 
So my friend, we need the Holy Spirit in whatever things that we endeavor to do. Whether church things, whether the things of the manure, whether the things of the of the government, or maybe you are a sports person. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. We need the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory to Jesus. We need the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us. The Holy Spirit will convict us. I remember in the lessons, chapter 5, eh, verse 16, Paul is writing to the church and the church leaders. Walk by the Spirit so you don't do the lust of the flesh. Oh, we are fighting a battle and our best partner, our best friend is the Holy Spirit. He is like a, a GPS guiding us all the corners, all the third, the second exit, the third exit, when he come through our roundabouts of this life. He's wonderful, my friend. He's just too wonderful to forget. He's just too wonderful not to remember him. So if you are listening today, hallelujah, we need the Holy Spirit. He will come and guide us and lead us into all our tomorrows. Most of, our, most of the time we are so worried about tomorrow. Hmm? We are so worried about tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow already have the problem for, for himself to cater for the problem for tomorrow. For us, we just need the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us. Some of us, we are fighting loneliness right now. You can talk to the Holy Spirit. Some of us, we need fellowship and nobody's around. People turn their back and walk away. My friend, it's okay. Speak to the Holy Spirit today. Acknowledge the Holy Spirit. You need to acknowledge Him. You need to say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I'm sitting here. I'm very angry. I'm very lonely. Holy Spirit, I need someone to talk to. He is more real than the clothes that we wear. He's more real to you than me standing here. He's sitting with you, listening to this program. Whether you as a family, you as a couple, or maybe you're watching all the way from Australia, from New Zealand, watching all the way from any country in the Asian continent, or maybe our soldiers in the Golan Heights or in the Sinai Peninsula, or those of you rugby players that are around in Europe, especially France, or those of you in, uh, in Japan, or maybe in the United States of America, some of you in the uh, in UK, hallelujah, I want to tell you, we need the Holy Spirit. The best companion, the best friend, is the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory to Jesus. And I'm, I'm sharing this because I'm one of the living examples of trusting in the Holy Spirit. Any talatala that trusts in the Holy Spirit, you cannot go wrong. Because every time He will guide you, He will remind you. Iko baka usa off to kubali lai. Iko baka usa bukita to kubali lai. Or you are starting to pleasing men. Or you are cutting corners. Or you are not managing your time well. Or you are not giving your time well. Holy Spirit will do all those things, my friend. Hallelujah. So it is our duty to speak on the Holy Spirit today, to share with you what the Bible can assist us in our walk with God every day of our life. And the Spirit of the Lord will be with you and take you, guide you, remind you, educate you. Hallelujah. He is the third person in the Trinity. So because he is from the Trinity, he is from God. God had only one God. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit was sent by God. As Jesus said, the Holy Spirit which I'm sending to you, and He's here right now. As I stand here, He's standing here. And I have to acknowledge, that's why I acknowledge the Holy Spirit all the time. He's the one that guiding me. He's the one that helping me. He's the one that showing me the things, the lesson every topic and sometimes I'll be very fluent in what I'm saying 
everything, line of thoughts. And in the middle, the Holy Spirit will, will slot in what He wants me to say. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that you are trusting the Holy Spirit to guide you. My friend, whatever you're going through in this life, remember, you must remember that the Spirit of God is waiting on you. Maybe that you've uh, turned away. Maybe you are not acknowledging the Holy Spirit now. But I'm encouraging you in the name of Jesus. This is the time to come back to the Lord. Most of our people, this is the time that they are backsliding to the world. They love the worldly things. They love all the occasion. Hallelujah. What about you, my friend? What about you, brothers and sisters? Are you going to go to? Jesus asked Peter, all these people are gone. Are you ready to go to? Then Peter said to Jesus, where else to go to? To receive the word of life. Begitu lah kita lagi ni. Begitu tinggal macam ini nanti tu kita ni bula. And I believe that God is using this platform, the platform of a social media, so we can come live to somebody that you are watching today. Holy Spirit, through this platform, is speaking to you. Things that you are doing that you need to put it out of your life. There is lifestyle that you need that you are not pleasing God. Hallelujah. This is the time sharing with you as a brother, sharing with you as a child, as we are all children of the Most High God. Whatever you are dwelling on, and it's not of God, the Holy Spirit is using this platform. Maybe a father, maybe you are doing well in your work, or maybe you work for the government, you are holding position in the government. But Jesus was the one that gave everything to you to achieve that position. But at the moment, you are not doing your part. Hallelujah. Some of us that we are watching today, you are no longer going to church. Prayer, you are no longer praying. Maybe you pray with your family, but just for the sake of doing whatever you are doing. But you are no longer dedicated, put aside, special as a Christian. Hallelujah. Most of the time, because the kind of Lutuwa Christo Merora. No, it's a standard. It come with a cost. Hallelujah! You can't just muck around, muck around, smoking, swearing, you know, all these uh, debaucheries and orgies and dirty words and bickering and slandering and gossips, and you think that you are the child of the Most High God? No, it does not work that way. Most of the time, just because we belong to a church. Hallelujah. But we are not that person. We need to be the best of us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I will speak on the, uh, I'll try to introduce on the first lesson. The first lesson, something like this. The primary role of the Holy Spirit. What is the primary role of the Holy Spirit? Let us go to the Bible. 16. 7 to 15, the book of John. The Bible says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, which is the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. Jesus is saying, I need to go. Eh? Go through crucifixion. Go through death on the cross. He said, I need to go. Because until I go, then the Holy Spirit will come. Hallelujah. God is waiting on you, my friend. Allow your life to yield to Jesus Christ so the Holy Spirit can perform miracles. As I said from above, Holy Spirit cannot operate in your life unless that you are humble enough to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. You surrender your life to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit will work wonders in your life. Hallelujah. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Hallelujah. What is the primary role? I just read it. Hallelujah. So when the Holy Spirit comes, he will deal with sin. His duty is to deal with sin, to talk about sin and to talk about the holiness and the righteousness of God. 
So during our preaching, as for me, I can't just focusing on the good part of God. I need to to focus too on the holiness of God, the righteous righteousness of God. He's not a God that just just perform miracles for the sake of performing miracles. Just do things in the sake of just showing off. No, not at all. The Holy Spirit is here to teach us and to guide us. And the Bible says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. John chapter 16, verse 7, 8, and 9, right up to 15. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. When Jesus is departing physically, it is the benefit for every Christian in the world. Hallelujah. The moving on of Jesus as a person, death on the cross, because of that death, his blood cover our sinful life. <laughs> Not only that, when you die on the cross, the Holy Spirit will come later. Hallelujah. Maybe you watching this program and sometimes you don't take the Holy Spirit very seriously. Today, change that mindset. You need to take the Holy Spirit very seriously. Hallelujah. Jesus said in Mark chapter 3 and Matthew chapter 12, all sin can be forgiven. You sin to the Father can be forgiven. You sin to Jesus, Jesus said, can be forgiven. But if you sin to the Holy Spirit, it will never be forgiven. That's why we need to know the Holy Spirit. This person, Holy Spirit. Hello, Tabu Nikalo. Gona no na ngona tuna hello Tabu. Lako mai na ngona ni tamai Abraham, tamai Isaac, tamai Jacob. That's a Godfather. And then, then Jesus born into this world, and that God the Son, Jesus. And then Jesus promised, it is for your advantage that I go because the Holy Spirit will come. Now, this is the time of the Holy Spirit. And we cannot hide. Hallelujah. We cannot lie. We cannot sneak under the table because the Holy Spirit knows everything. And as I stand here, while I'm speaking to you, Holy Spirit is speaking to me. Holy Spirit is speaking into my ears and tell me what to say, what to do. And if I say something that is not right, that is not, not uh, uh, complete, Holy Spirit will convict, repeat again. Say it in Fijian. Make sure you clarify yourself. Oh, glory. So I'm standing here, one to two, Wednesday the 6th, to declare to us the powerful God in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you can speak to Him. Speak to the Holy Spirit. He's there. He's next to you. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. And the sinner ni lako mai nandou ni vivu kiyo 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 and then Jesus said, it is good for me to go, because when I go, then the Holy Spirit will come. And the beauty about the Holy Spirit, He can be in so many places, or all the places, in one given time. He's standing here with me, encouraging me, the words that I say. He's sitting with you in your living room. He's working with you in your workplace. And you are peeping into souls to Jesus' page right now. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So my friend, it is our advantage. Hallelujah. It is for our goodness. As the Bible says, I will go away before, if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. As long as I depart, he'll come to you. If I'm sitting here, he'll not come to you. Thank you, Jesus, for the death of the cross. You bought my life and you gave me the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And it's very important for us 
to acknowledge the Holy Spirit because it's alive, it's well, and it's ready at any time. I encourage all the viewers this afternoon, speak to the Holy Spirit. Speak to Him. He's there. When I will walk up to the pulpit, Holy Spirit, please speak to me. Holy Spirit, what is the lesson? I've been preparing what is the lesson. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is oh, Thank you, Holy Spirit. What about this? What about that? He's waiting. Holy Spirit is waiting for you. Hallelujah. Are you going to rely on the Holy Spirit? Or are you going to rely on yourself? The Bible says that the Spirit of God is here with us. He sees everything in our heart. Nothing lay bare in front of this Holy Spirit. He knows exactly my life. Every hair on my head, He knows it very clearly. Every thoughts in my brain, whether positive or negative, He knows. Every cry and every desire, He knows. And maybe some of you women out there that your husband did a few things that is wrong, very painful, maybe assault, abuse. Don't worry. Holy Spirit is there. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Those of you that your loan is taking time and the cutoff date is going closer and closer. Stay rooted in the Word of God. Continue to believe in the Holy Spirit because Jesus said it is for your advantage that the Holy Spirit is coming. Hallelujah. I'm really blessed with the lesson that will teach me every day of my life. When I'm driving, Holy Spirit, help me to do the right thing, my decision making to be right, to be fast, so I don't become a burden to the people around me. Holy Spirit is waiting for you, my friend. As we are touching on the introduction, because next week we will talk on the primary role. Okay. There is seven primary role that is here. Okay. That the Holy Spirit is here to help and to assist. He's not here to compete. He's here to do His work. He's the working power of God. And sometimes we, we, are, we are not trusting in the things that we don't see. We know that there is Holy Spirit. It's written in the Bible, but we don't believe. We don't trust. Do yourself a favor. Try to believe the Holy Spirit that is here. The only thing that you can do to prove is talk to Him. Wake up in the morning, talk to Him. About to sleep at night, talk to Him. In the daytime when you're driving, talk to Him. I tell you, my friend, Holy Spirit is there to assist you live this life. Holy Spirit is not here to take you to heaven. He's here to help us in our work here. You work in the government, we need the Holy Spirit to help you. You work in the village, you turn in the corner, turn in the tagali, turn in the Holy Spirit is there to help. You know, most of the time we are spending a lot of time and energy and money to fix the solution and the problem that we are facing. Hey, what about you turn to the one that is close to you? That is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And as we come to the uh, end of our teaching today, I want to challenge our life. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday like this, we will go deeper into the Holy Spirit lesson. My friend, I believe that God will bless you. Stay tuned to Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, those three days. Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursday, one to two. The teaching on giving, power of giving is normally on Tuesday. And God's provision and God's conditions, like today, is normally on Wednesdays. And evil in cover is always on Thursday. So we thank the Lord for today. Hallelujah. And as we come next week, we'll go straight into the primary role of the Holy Spirit. 
Thank you, Father God, for today. Thank you, Father God, for the revelation knowledge that we can share your children out there, those that are watching live and those that will watch later after those that are live now continue to share and forward to their friends. We thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. We thank you, Father God, for your love and mercy, the open doors. We thank you, Father God, that you are blessing our family just because we can stand up and talk about the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the rest of the afternoon. The combined cell online from Jaira, we pray for the God that the manifestation of the Holy Spirit will be there again. We give you the glory and the honor and the praises. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen.